Oh, guys, we're back to the beginning, but this time we're gonna go for Hugh, even though he's a butthole. Doesn't deserve our love. I'm sure he's perfectly lovely. He just, he just burned me. He just burned me is all. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing? I think we already went to work. Yeah, it's noon, so we have the rest of our day. Um, we just met all the people. And guess what? We have all those same scenes that we get to try and speed through. That's gonna be great. Oh, the mall! I love it! It's so great! Wow! Hey, Hugh works here! Yeah! Who's awesome? I'm awesome! Yeah! Okay, go into the map. And... His skill is creativity, so we're gonna have to do a lot of writing. Um, we're probably gonna have to buy a laptop. Which is fine. But I'm wondering, is there anything that will absolutely always give me creativity? Hmm. It's not like with updating the blog. Where you could just be like, yeah, getting all getting all the creativity going. Yeah, I didn't get any creativity through that. Maybe the laptop. I honestly don't remember if I got anything out of the laptop before. Oh, it's the weekend. Oh, I didn't borrow books! No! Even though. I'm realizing borrowing books doesn't really affect anything but the Aaron storyline. It just, it ups your morale, you know? It's just nice. Uh, does he work here on Saturdays too? Yes. It's just Sundays that he doesn't work there? I think. That was easy. That was easy. Let's investigate. What are all of the different ways that we can get creativity? Uh, yep, yep, it's a place. Oh, I can only get a drink there right now. But I feel like maybe dancing only ups our morale. And then there's all this stuff that makes us feel better. Writing helps. So getting the laptop will definitely help. Bring it on. Yay! I wrote a po- Oh, oops. I didn't- I didn't look. No! You never need a break from poetry. Not when it's your life. Oh, they teach the classes here. That's right. But if I want a la if I want a laptop, it's two ninety nine. Can I get that? How disciplined? Okay, so it's this one, and then there's the writing course, and then God, we know way too much about this game now. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's try to statistic this. Cause did you notice when we did Lawrence? Um, it took you know not a ton of episodes, but it took a few. Eddie took no time at all. And now I'm wondering if if Hugh is going to take less time. Maybe not. I feel like we should. Desperate times are when we start paying money for our creativity awesome. stats, right? Yeah, there's some creativity. Got that. All right, Hugh. Yay. Coming for you. Coming for you right now. Oh, still the weekend. Weird. <laughs> Saturday and Sundays both happened. Okay, so Hugh's not here on Sundays. I don't know where he would be, but that's okay, because it's the beginning of the game, and we're still hung up on Aaron, so. Oh gosh, guys. Yeah. Isn't it gonna be crazy once we're actually going for Aaron? That's gonna be nuts. Wasn't expecting this. Because there's so much stuff that just guides you toward getting points with Aaron. That's why I keep referring to him as being OP, because he's just like, no matter what we do, we wind up in cutscenes with Aaron, and I'm like, stop it! Okay, let's go to the ice cream shop and get some dollar. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. As soon as my shift ended, I went to the hospital. And a lot of people were there. Oh no, there's his dad. I can never understand what he's saying. Um, hey! <sighs> I felt almost dizzy at his accusations. She glared at me pointedly when I questioned her. Alright, see ya. Cool. That's all done. Cool, let's go talk to Hugh. Yeah, we're at 20. 
ignoring the fact that we're kind of cheating because we saved at that one point where we had, you know, high stats with everybody, but shh, it's fine. Yay. Guys, it's fine. No creativity. Gotta go home. You don't understand. I went through a harrowing cutscene where no words were spoken. Awesome. Just felt a lot of things and everybody was making grunting noises. It was strange. Ice cream shop. Oh, I was feeling so weak and tired. Mm -hmm. oh, that's so sad. Uh -huh. I just don't know what to do. Uh -huh. oh, hi, I just I'm so tired. Yeah, you should take the day off. Uh, no, it's fine. I gotta work and stuff. Hey, don't worry about it. I can like work for you. Yeah, come on, I'll like walk you. Um, except. Okay, I need to calm down and actually go through these. <laughs> I forgot that we're actually going for Hugh this time. Okay, wait. <clears throat> I felt rather touched by their concern, and Hugh's offer to go out of his way to walk me home. I appreciated it, too. I wasn't sure if I was up to a long walk by myself. Thanks, Hugh. I'd like that, but I'm just scared the boss won't like it. I'm serious. Don't worry about it. I understand. You're under a lot of stress. Come on, Ames. It'll be all right. Let's go. I want to get you home. You look terrible. You need hot chocolate and a bunch of chick flicks. I shook my head, suppressing a half sob, half laugh. Romantic comedy was the type of movie I wanted to see right now. The, la the last time I didn't, I didn't want to see a romantic comedy, but the hot chocolate sounded good. I smiled at Hugh and slipped off the stool. That's really nice of you, Hugh. I could use some company. Oh heck yeah! Plus fivers. He waited until I'd collected my things, then slipped an arm around my shoulders. We walked out the door and engaged in small talk as he steered me back home. Distraught and tired, I appreciated it. It kept my mind off Aaron, and by the time I was back home, I was laughing at Hugh's dumb jokes. Thanks, Hugh. That made me feel a lot better. Anytime, Amy. Goodbye, and good luck. Going home. I was sipping hot chocolate when Aunt Gwenda walked in the door. Leaping up, I exclaimed a greeting and hugged her happily. Aunt Gwenda, I'm so glad to see you! Me too, Amy! She hugged me back, and then held me away to look at me closely. I knew she was noting the tired bags under my eyes and the strained muscles around my mouth. I turned away, anticipating her next words. Amy, it's really terrible! It happened to Aaron! I didn't reply, but walked back to the sofa I had been sitting on. She followed me and sat next to me, giving me a kind look. How are you coping, dear? I shrugged, sipping more chocolate. Um... Have I been through this scene before? This seems weird. I don't know if I've done this before. Uh... Why is everyone pressuring? Well, I'm obviously feeling pretty bad about it, but I'll deal with it. I'm going to hear, honey! If you ever need my help, I'm here! I will, Aunt Gwenda. The thing is... My friends are insisting on acting like I'm going to break down right in front of them. It's annoying. I'm not that delicate. Aunt Gwenda looked thoughtful, and I waited almost painfully for her reply. Amy, they're doing what friends do. Try to look out for you. For success, it only means they're coming out to them. <laughs> mm. That makes sense, I thought. <laughs> I smiled sheepishly, feeling a bit embarrassed. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee and then we're gonna we're gonna focus up and take this game seriously because it's a very serious game. <clears throat> Thank you, Aunt Gwenda. I'll thank them as soon as I see them. That's my girl! That's my television! I brought Jeffrey! I burst out laughing, remembering what Hugh had said to make me about to the stuff and made mental notes. Bring it on! Cool. <laughs> I talked with Gwenda. Uh, did I accidentally click talk with Gwenda? Is that what happened? 
I don't remember that conversation happening at all. Uh, I'm going to cook a thing. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, but creativity went up. No, I should have done that. Perfect. All right, cool. No, boo. I need to hurry. Yeah. Go to work. Aw. Talking to Hugh. Hey, baby. How's all your clothing yeah. going? You're super creative and hot. I'm so excited. Um, and let's practice writing. Yeah, creativity. Let's practice writing again. That did not give me creativity that time. Gotta go home now. There's gotta be a better way. I don't know, I guess that's the way that I tried to get culture was doing that. Yeah. And it was just, you know, kind of a crapshoot whether or not I got it, so. And I wound up maxing out discipline Way too early. So maybe I need to just chill out. I probably need to just chill out. I'm kind of competitive with myself now, though. I'm like, how fast? How fast can I... Can I get Hugh to touch my butt? How fast is that gonna happen? Practice writing. Oh yeah! Creativity. Practice writing. Did not get creativity that time. All right, going back home, going to sleep. Woohoo! Awesome! Oh yeah. yeah! Give me all them dollars. I need a I need a net book. Is that what they're called in this game? I need a net book. Yes! Our, our music is so loving, Hugh. You and I are so loving with each other. Oh, horn honked outside. <laughs> It's very loud. Yay! Yay! I didn't get anything! Awesome! Oh, I got more culture! Oh, good! But I got creativity, too. I can't complain. Can't complain. I wonder why culture and creativity are so intertwined. I guess because... Uh, well, I don't know. I was about to say because with art, like... You're considered cultured if you understand art, right? And understand, like, literature and have a good knowledge of that. But writing it, I don't understand why writing it would give you any culture bonuses. But hey, that's how this game works. So let's get all the creativity. <sighs> Practice writing. Get more culture. <laughs> Damn it! No! No creativity again? No! Come on! <sighs> Yay! Uh, did this? Okay, walking in the park gives you like rando bonuses, right? And then jogging ups your morale. <gasps> I think going to the restaurant gives you creativity. No, oh, I just want to look and see how it affects you. Ah. Uh, oops. No! Oh, but No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, my morale went up. That's good. I don't think anything there is going to make me creative. The gym, I think, is all discipline. So it really is just like writing and doing art classes is all that I can do. But I don't want to pay for art classes. So I'm just going to keep writing, I guess, until I can afford a netbook. And hope that that helps out. No, I failed at writing. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> All right. Creativity and culture are now even. We just need creativity to get in the lead. Because otherwise it's weird. Yeah, I got two creativity points. All righty. Let's go to the ice cream shop. And then let's go talk to Hugh. <gasps> no! Hugh, you deny me? You deny me, Hugh? What's up with that? Aww. I'm trying to remember if when we had Eddie over here, like if we failed here, we could try again here. I don't think so, though. I think once you bug a person, you're done bugging them for the day. Remember that one time that we were stalking Eddie real hard? 
And one of the failures was, I stood outside his office for hours, but he's apparently busy. I was like, Amarantha, you're a creep. We've been playing a creep this whole time and I didn't know. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's practice writing. And let's practice writing again. No creative. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Another thing I gotta buy. Because I'm pretty sure if I go to this restaurant, I get creativity. So. Yes, God, I'm doing so good. So good at work. Um. Yeah, we're at 30. Dip. If I get a dress, then I can go to that restaurant, and then I get creativity bonuses from eating the food there, but that's also very expensive. The least ex the like only free way to get creativity is writing. <sighs> no, I failed at writing. I'm gonna have to sneeze in a second here, just so you guys know, in case there's a very loud sound that happens. Oh my God, I need to sneeze so bad. Oh God. Oh, let's go to work. Yeah. Mm. 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 Nope, it's gone. All right. Hugh, you're so beautiful. I like how fashionable you are. It's great that you own your own business. Wow. I'm gonna go write a thing. Yeah. All right. Creativity doing good. Oh. Dang it, culture keeps catching up. This is not what I wanted. Why? Why has this happened? Ah, because they're tied together. Their fates are intertwined. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Now I'm really sad that that sneeze is gone. Yay! Yay! Oh my god! Wow! Hmm. I'm gonna write some poetry. Oh. Oh. When I reached home, I stepped into the kitchen. What should I have for dinner today? I wondered to myself. I was just about to start making dinner when the phone rang. I picked it up and cradled it with one shoulder, balancing a pot in my other hand. Hello, who is this? Hey, Amy. I laughed in surprise at his chipper tone. Hi, Hugh, why are you calling me? Well, I thought you might be tired from walking around most of the day, so I decided to order you a pizza. Should be arriving any second now. Sure enough, the doorbell rang at precisely that moment. I really didn't want pizza right now, because if I wanted it, I would have just ordered some for myself. Should I lie, or should I just tell him that I don't want his dumb pizza and he can take it back? Wow, thank you! I really didn't feel up to making anything. It didn't even cross my mind to order out, because I didn't want to. I know it didn't. That's why I did it for you. Go get the door, Ames. Okay. Maybe I, maybe, I, maybe I will. That pizza boy might run away with the merchandise. Bon appetit. I laughed and said goodbye, setting down the phone and pot and then hurrying to the door. Awesome! Oh, I hear some nidhogs. There's some nidhogs out there. Here they come. Ah. <gasps> this one doesn't give you culture. Boom. Yay! Write a poem. Yeah! I got some creativity. Got some creativity. It really is gonna be strange. Yeah. Going for Aaron. Cause like, God, we've avoided literally every time we've played this game, we've avoided him. It's oh, it's gonna be so interesting. There are gonna be so many weird cutscenes, you know? Whoa. Yay. Let's go to work. Let's go to work so that we can reflect on all this deep stuff we're talking about. 